Today's video is a rant on Nicki Minaj's new song and music video looking as the N-word, Igas. Yes, my number one enemy, my nemesis, is back once again with a new friggin' song. So her new song, looking as Igas, is apparently about Nicki targeting the male gender due to the criticism, guys fixating over her buttocks, guys with financial stability and who are drug dealers and guys who can't get jobs and sometimes they tend to just rob banks she's obviously targeting some not all but some of the males who do these things because if she was after the entire male gender then that would have been messed up okay so her concept of the song is understandable there are some drug dealers who tend to spend their lives just selling drugs there are some guys who are broke and don't have jobs due to certain reasons and that some men tend to lie but Nikki what do you expect you're going to get criticism from not just males but females as well will criticize you due to the fact that you suck so don't act like females don't criticize you either what is this battle of the sexes so in the music video it starts off with some camera angles of Nikki's legs and her butt her starting off saying, look at y'all Eggers. 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 Then here she go with her first verse. Look at y'all smoking ass Eggers after every pull. Eggers start choking ass Eggers. Egga, Egga. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Is this witch serious? Boy, we'll have to see how this music video goes. And she uses the N-word so many times. I get it. It's called looking ass Igas, but she keeps repeating it over and over and over again. Igas this, Igas that. She hardly rhymes at all, except in the first verse, rhyming sex and X and text. Then rhyming again in verse two, pussy ass Igas you lie, pussy ass Igas you high, biatches I me, hundred on the wrist, I ski. Knowing the concept of the song is all that matters, but does she really have to repeat the N word so many times? The entire video, there's this random black guy whose eyes are the only thing shown as he gazes towards Nikki. I also find it very ironic that she does not like men obsessing over her butt, but she's using her hands filling all over her plastic ass. That sounds very hypocritical. You say you don't want men obsessing over your ass, but you filling all over it? It's like, which is it? What do you want? Nicki Minaj, you sound like a hypocrite. I'm not one of these men who's obsessed over your buttocks. Why would I? You got butt implants. You're called Barbie for a reason because your whole body is nothing but plastic and you're as plastic as a water bottle. Butt implants plus fake plastic ass equals ain't sexy at all. Yuck. I'll pass that ass. Then there was that one part where she's uh, put her hand on her thigh and she have her eyes closed and she's like ah so nice like she's taking a nice warm bath she's also sitting in a chair moving her body trying to look all sexual while holding her ponytail from the back of her head I don't even like the instrumental the instrumental sounds like every other song these days especially used in the hey 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 it's like where's the creativity I'm tired of these same songs with the same beats and with the whole hey hey Hey, in it. It's like, hey, 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 knock it off already. Jeez, we don't need all that. The piano thump is fine, but then there's that annoying auto tone wail that just drives me crazy. It just sounds so eerie and scary, like Nicki Minaj herself. It's really irritating and annoying with the whole, oh, I know, oh, I know, and you know, and you know, and I know. And I know that you need to shut up. Jeez, that's annoying. Ugh. Disgusting. And I cracked up at the part where Nikki was like, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> She sounded like she's stuttering, like she can't get her words out. I was like, what are you trying to say? Towards the end of the video, she pulls out some M1 carbine guns, like the one gun that Malcolm X was holding in his famous photo from February of 1964, a year before his death. She pulls out the big guns and starts shooting the guy in the video. His lips move like, no! And then it blacks out and the video is over. Who does she think she is? The black Tomb Raider? Lara Croft version? 
Thank God the video and the song itself is not very long because if it was, I would have lost my mind. There were people who were outraged that the album cover for the single was the famous photo of Malcolm X holding that carbine gun while looking out the window in Queens, New York when he was receiving death threats at that time with the n-word being next to his image. What in the world? Now Nikki said that the image was not intended as the official cover and she apologized. Now apparently someone uh, sent her that famous photo of Malcolm X and the person that sent that photo to her they were thinking that um, it would be a great idea for in her music video to use that same gun that he was holding in her music video to shoot at a looking ass Igas and apparently that's what she believed in so she pretty much used those guns based on what she believed in and shooting looking as Igas like Malcolm X he believed in shooting someone that he would see out the window to protect himself so that's pretty much what Nikki was going by so this wasn't her trying to disrespect or ruin Malcolm X legacy cause she does look up to Malcolm X for what he's done and stuff so I, don't, I understand people want to make sure that you know this wasn't to disrespect his legacy or anything but hey she says she apologized to the you know Malcolm X family and everyone for that mistake so hey as long as she don't disrespect that man that's all that matters I mean Malcolm X he was like Martin Luther King see this should be your single cover or even this this is even better this would totally be your perfect single cover looking as Igas the screenshot of you holding up the guns looking as Igas parental advisory epic content bam that should be your single cover either way Malcolm X is rolling over his grave matter of fact all of our African American historical figures are rolling in their graves as we speak like Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks, George Washington Carver, the inventor of peanut butter, due to the fact that she released it during Black History Month. Really? Why couldn't she release it next month? Not in the month of February of Black History Month, where it's all about celebrating our historical figures. Yeah, way to represent the entire human race there, Nikki. The music video, I would say, is kind of creative, seeing that it's in black and white in the desert. At least she wasn't wearing any wigs or wearing too much makeup. She looks fine, looks normal-ish. I mean, I'd rather her look like this than wearing wigs and making scary facial expressions. <laughs> I know some dudes who masturbated to her in that leotard outfit. Bottom line is, Nicki Minaj still sucks. She's the most overrated witch in music and the most overrated female rapper ever. I keep telling you there are way more talented female rappers from the 80s, 90s, and today in the underground. She is not sexy at all. I just don't get the sex appeal that people have over her. Yuck. Her plastic ass is not sexy. It's fake and gross. There are so many other women with real and nicer buttocks. The late Grace Selena, Jennifer Lopez, Beyonce, Kim and Khloe Kardashian, and Shakira. She's not a good role model, especially for females. I don't see how anyone can. Can't stand her. I can't stand Lil Wayne either, but ooh, girl, you get on my last nerves. She definitely got on my nerves when she a appeared once on the Queen Latifah show with the whole wheels of accents. And she talking a British accent. Me and my mates went to the tomb home from the Pope because we were bloody knackered. Mm. Can't stand you. And why would the great Queen Latifah even have Nicki on her show? <sighs> um, even Ice-T said Nicki Minaj is like the female Busta Rhymes based on how she throws her voice in different directions. Ice-T, you're a legend, but I don't think so. Busta Rhymes isn't even as good as he used to be after getting rid of his dreadlocks. Now, if we're talking about 90s Busta Rhymes, the woo-ha got you all in check. Man, he'll have her in check in a rap battle and possibly break her neck. <laughs> what has happened to mainstream hip-hop and rap? It's really sad how it turned out to be nowadays. I want the Notorious B.I.G. back. I want Tupac back. I want Big L, Big Punisher back. 
I want Easy E back so he can pop a bullet in her fake plastic ass. I want Old Dirty Bastard from the Wu Tang Clan bag. Ooh, baby, I like you raw. Yeah, baby, I like you raw. Ooh, baby, I like you raw. Yeah, baby, I like you raw. <laughs> so he can shimmy, shimmy, ya, yeah, shimmy, yam, shimmy, yay. Please take Nicki Minaj away. She can't rap, she's nothing but crap. Raise my hand and I'll give her a big slap in the face. She's a disgrace to the human race. This has been my rant on Nicki Minaj's new song, Looking Ass Iggas. Tell me um, your thoughts on the song, the music video itself, and the whole using the photo of Malcolm X or whatever. Just tell me your thoughts. Nicki Minaj, you're nothing but a looking ass witch. Look at this looking ass witch. Think she all that in a bag of chips type witch. Plastic in the face to the ass type witch. Witch, witch. Witch. Made me sick to my stomach type witch. Made me want to vomit ass witch. Can't sleep. You give me nightmares ass witch. Ugh.